Today we're going to learn how to do a water pump seal change. This, this will work on any bike from 2002 to current RFS motors. The 2000-2001s, the they used a one-piece uh, gasket carrier. And to do those, you have to remove the, the top of the valve cover to gain access to it. All the parts are available to the 2002. We'll cover that a little later on. Okay, before we get started on this, let's go over the equipment and tools we'll need to do this job. We'll need a seal carrier, a couple of seals, seal protector, a piece of emery cloth or scotch bright, six millimeter T-handle or screwdriver for in case we need to loosen the clamps, eight millimeter wrench of course. I use two sets of snap ring pliers. The first set you use to pull the, the circlip off. The bigger set is makes it easier to pull the carrier and the water pump impeller off. A little bit of anaerobic gasket sealant, of course your water pump cover gasket, a piece of cardboard to use as a catch tray for the coolant. Okay, the procedure is going to entail draining the coolant from the, the motor, then we'll have to gain access to the water pump cover. Some bikes like this one will have to pull the tank to do that. Uh, if you're using a stock tank, EXC, SX, you won't have to pull this, the tank. You can do it all without that. Uh, the MXCs, you have to pull the tank. Uh, your drain point for the coolant is down here. To do that, you want to remove the water pump cap. Uh, we'll replace the parts, button everything back up, and then we'll have to, to refill the radiators. We bleed the head before we're done, and then top off the coolant. That'll be the whole procedure. It takes about 15 minutes on a bad day, so let's go ahead and get started. Drain the coolant, we start by removing the uh, coolant drain screw, which is located at the bottom of your cylinder, right under the uh, radiator hose. Now, normally to get to this, the clamp's in a row, so the first thing we have to do is move the clamp out of the way. Just loosen it up, rotate it up out of the way, and don't forget to tighten it back down. Because the last thing you want to do is have that pop off in the middle of a ride. Take a piece of cardboard or something to use as a catch tray to put it so we're catching under the uh, coolant drain hole. And take your 8 millimeter pull the drain plug. Before you let it drop, get your can up there because it's going to spray all over. Now we just let the coolant drain out. For demonstration purposes, we're going to illustrate this with just the head off the bike, but the procedure is the same whether the head's on or off the bike. First thing you want to do, remove the water pump cover. So you're going to remove four screws. I've already pre-removed a couple here. So you can expose the water pump impeller. There it is, ready to go. You need to pull the circlip off that holds the water pump impeller on. And I found a very easy way to pull off the impeller itself. It has two holes in it. If you have a big pair of snap ring pliers, you just go into the holes. Just work it back and forth, pull it right off. Uh, watch out for the, the pin. It will drop out. So I'll make sure when you're doing it, you keep an eye out for that. Now at this point, You'll see this one's kind of worn out, but you'll see your carrier here. It's got two holes in it. They're threaded holes. They're a, a three millimeter threaded hole. You can go buy two three millimeter bolts, screw them in there, and use those to pull the carrier out. Uh, there's an easy way to do it. Use the same pliers. Grab the holes, squeeze outward, and pull. Done deal. Okay, we're going to prep this the surface by taking a piece of scotch bright. You can use the green stuff you clean your dishes with. Uh, have a little, little rougher one or even some real fine emery cloth. You just want to prep the shaft seal. Get all the, the grease off of it, dirt, deposits, whatever may be on there. And wipe that off. Clean it out. Now you've got your carrier. You've got two O-rings that go back on. Now with this, you have two different size O-rings. A smaller O-ring goes on the outboard side, the first groove. And that's done. You take your, your second O-ring and you put it in the hole. Bottom it out. 
And then just as a little extra insurance, I take some anaerobic sealant, put some around the edge of this first o-ring. Just cut, coat the edge of it. This gives you a little extra protection, a little extra sealing, and a, yeah, just in case, because there are some people do have problems with these things leaking a little extra. So you just kind of goo it on there, build up a little, little extra protection. At this point, you take your seal protector tool, which is here, slip it over the end of the shaft, because what happens is you've got a square cut for the circlip on the shaft, and that can actually nick the sealing surface on the, uh, or nick the seal as you shove it on. So we want to protect that. So we take this little little piece which we supply with our seal seal kits put it over to protect it then you take your handy dandy snap ring pliers again put them in the hole push it over and in place okay you see we stopped right where the o-ring is the dot goes up at about 12 o'clock so now if you just push this straight in the back o-ring will roll and then it will as soon as you let go it'll try pushing back out so what you do to seat it is you give a little twist as you're pushing it in right to there boom you're done take your ceiling off your gasket protector off put your pin back in and a little piece of advice if the pins hard or drops out some of them will drop out very easily just take a little little grease if it's up and down and that'll hold it in place Wipe off any excess gasket sealant. Take your impeller, put it back on. Your O-ring, or your circuit clip, sorry about that. Drop that on. Take your water pump cover. You Sometimes you can get away with reusing them. I never do. We're gonna take this off, and then we're gonna uh, just replace it with a new, a new gasket cover. I'm gonna, now you take your gasket, put it on your cover, put your cover back in place, and bolt it in. Once you get the water pump cover back on, then you're going to want to refill the radiators. Uh, first thing you want to remember to do is to put that little bolt back in the drain hole in, in the front of the motor. At that point, you fill the radiators up. And then you have to bleed the head to get all the air out of it, otherwise you'll end up with hot spots while you're running on your head. To do that, you want to lean the bike over to the left or on the kickstand is a good way so that instead of the motor sitting straight up and down, it's going to be tilted to the, little, to the left. This is the, that makes this the high point of the motor. This little bolt is your bleed for the head. Crack it open, bring it open a couple of turns, you'll hear air hissing out, and just leave it open until you see coolant come out at that point. Tighten it and then refill your radiators up. You want to be just about eight millimeters above the coils as you look in. You want to leave room for expansion. Otherwise, the first time you go riding, you're going to be burping coolant, thinking you've got to leak all over again. That's pretty much all there is to change in a water pump seal. Okay, if you're doing a 2000-2001, you have to actually remove the valve cover to remove the carrier because it's all one piece. The newer carriers are two-piece. You have the carrier, this is the old one we just replaced, and you have a backing ring. This backing ring actually fits in this groove. Uh, the old carriers, it's all one piece like that, and the backing ring keeps it from coming out. So it's a nice upgrade. See, this is the way it should look. You have your backing ring, which is right here. Then you have your O-ring. Then you have your weep hole. This, that's your weep hole, so if either, either seal leaks, it runs out here and then runs out the bottom of this hole here. It's either oil or water. You can see where your first o-ring goes, and that's basically how it goes together. This comes off, it. when you pull this off on the newer models, the backing ring stays in place and just the seals come out, as you can see. For your convenience, we also offer a packaged water pump seal replacement kit. It comes with the, the gaskets, seals, pre-installed in the carrier, water pump cover gasket, the two O-rings, and our own little special seal protector. For information, just give us a call or drop us an email at the number listed at the end of this.